In Logpoint, alerts are generated to notify users when any significant event occurs. Logpoint generates incidents and notifies you when an alert is triggered. Logpoint can notify you through email, SSH, HTTP, syslog, or SNMP. In this example, we have a user who has excessively failed to log into their account. This has raised a suspicion and you, as an analyst, want to keep an eye on this user. Let's create an alert rule such that if this user fails to authenticate for more than 5 times, an incident is generated. Let's go to Settings, Knowledge Base, Alert Rules, click Add, enter a name, enter the query, let's select the repo, let's set the time range of the query, let's set the search interval to 2 minutes. Search interval is the time interval to search the logs. Here, the machine performs the search every 2 minutes. Let's select flush on trigger. The next alert will be triggered only by a new set of events. And now let's click next. In the alerting criteria panel, we enter the condition, set the risk and select the risk calculation function. Based on the risk level and the risk calculation function, Lockpoint calculates the risk value of the incidents generated by the alert. Let's click next. Now let's configure the alert ownership. Let's assign the alert to an analyst and select the Lockpoint administrators as the manageable by users. Both the assigned to and manageable by users can reassign, comment and view the data of the incident. However, only the assigned to user can resolve it. Click next. In the incident data view panel, you can enter a Jinja template to view the details of the incidents in a specific format. Let's skip this for now and click finish. Let's click yes in the confirmation panel and select email notification. Let's select notify via email, enter the analyst's email, enter a subject. Let's enter a Jinja template such that the username and the source address are sent in the email every time the alert is triggered and click save. Every time the alert rule is triggered, Lockpoint generates an incident and notifies the analyst. Let's go to incident. Here. You can view the incidents and their details like the date and time when the alert was triggered, the assigned to users, and the history of the actions. You can also use the filter panel on the left to find specific incidents. For each incident, you can resolve the incident, add a comment, view the raw data which are the logs that trigger the incident, or view the incident data which is the data of the incident in the format specified in the incident data view panel while creating the alert rule.